Why do most people trying to build AI businesses fail within the first 30 days? Is it because they don't have technical skills or because they're missing something else entirely? What if I told you that the biggest AI tool failures happen because people think they need to be coding experts? That's completely backwards. See, I have zero coding knowledge, zero web development experience, but in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build an AI tool by copying Cast Magic, a company that's making over $10,000 per month through their subscription model. Here's what's crazy. We're not writing a single line of code. AI is doing literally everything. The website, the features, the backend, the front end, all of it. Let's dive in. The AI tool that we're gonna use is Replit. With my code JakeAI, you will get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description down below. Important disclaimer, building apps and making money online isn't easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. When I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most apps don't make money immediately, and many don't make money at all. I'm not promising you'll get rich or quit your job. This isn't financial advice or a get-rich-quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. What you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right. Expectations set, let's continue to build an app. We're starting by building out the core structure of the app. The goal here is to make something modern, focused, and genuinely useful for anyone working with podcasts or long form audio. We're calling it Audio Magic AI, and we want it to feel sleek right from the first click. No clutter, just clean design and fast productivity. So we'll tell Replit to build a new app called Audio Magic AI. It should include a smooth, minimalist landing page with soft colors, large headings, and minimalistic icons that make everything easy to navigate. We'll also ask it to set up email-based authentication so users can create an account or sign in securely. For the main user experience, we want a project dashboard that neatly organizes everything by account. Each entry should show the audio title, duration, upload date, and buttons to give users quick access to transcripts, generated content, and export options. The landing page itself needs to do some heavy lifting, so we'll have Replit start it off with a strong hero section. This will include a bold headline that says, turn your audio into content instantly, a short supporting line, and a prominent button labeled upload audio. Below that, we'll ask Replit to add a feature grid highlighting the app's core tools. Things like audio uploads, AI-powered transcription, content magic tools, custom prompts, and export options. Each feature will have an icon and a one-liner description. We'll also include a visual walkthrough carousel that shows the full flow of how the app works, a pricing section comparing the free and paid plans, a Stripe billing integration, a preview of the dashboard, testimonials, and a footer to wrap everything up. The whole interface should feel fast, clean and built for productivity. Once that's all typed into the Replit agent, we can go ahead and click Start Chat. The Replit agent now shows a visual preview of the layout it's about to generate. Everything looks on point, so we'll click Approve, Plan, and Start. Since we're using Stripe for payments, we now need to plug in the Stripe keys. I'll open up the Stripe dashboard, head over to the Developers tab, and grab both API keys. Then I'll paste them into Replit and click Continue. Now the app is fully set up. The landing page looks sharp and clean. The hero section nails the headline and the upload audio button stands out nicely. That feature grid below gives a quick but clear breakdown of what the app does. It actually looks like something ready to go live. Time to set up the sign in flow. I'll hit the sign in button, enter a name, email, and password to create a new account. But after submitting, it just kicks me back to the landing page instead of taking me to the dashboard. Let's fix that. Back in Reblet, I'll describe exactly what we need. After signing up or signing in, users should be redirected to the project dashboard where they can upload audio. This user dashboard should list all uploaded audio projects, 
uploads, transcriptions, and generated content per user account. Show audio title, length, date uploaded, and buttons to view transcript, content, and export options. Now, I'll try creating a new account again. This time, right after signing in, I'm taken straight to the dashboard. Everything we asked for is here. Uploads, transcripts, and AI-generated content are all organized neatly by the user. The layout's clear, and it actually feels like a working workspace well. Uploading audio is the core action behind this entire tool, so it needs to work cleanly and support a range of formats. Voice recordings, YouTube links, whatever the source, the upload process should make that process fast and easy to follow. All it takes to make that happen is this prompt, so I'll plug it into Replit now. In the project dashboard, allow users to upload audio files like MP3, WAV, M4A, etc or paste public audio URLs like YouTube links. A show upload progress and detect file duration. Accept files up to a set limit per plan. Since this account is currently on the free plan, you'll notice the upload limit is already displayed. I'll start by uploading an MP3 file. As it begins processing, you can see the project title appear instantly, and the audio duration is detected in real time. I'll click Create Project, but now the upload gets stuck. The file never finishes processing. So I'll go back into Replit and type. Uh, the audio upload gets stuck on processing. That resolves the issue. The upload now completes properly, the progress bar hits 100, and the file appears in a dashboard project list. There's also a small X next to the file, so users can remove any upload they don't want to keep. Next, I'll test whether public URLs work the same way. Let's click Upload Audio, switch over to a paste URL, and drop in a YouTube link. Then I'll click Create a Project. The app processes the link without any issues, and just like that, the new audio project is added to the dashboard. But as we all know, a lot of creators don't just stop at audio, they need readable content too. Transcripts help turn spoken words into something you can repurpose, edit, or publish. So the transcript tool has to feel seamless as well and ready to use right from the dashboard. Right now, I'm gonna test that by clicking the transcript button, but nothing happens. The button isn't responding at all. Let's make sure that's up and running. So here's what I'll tell Replit. When a user clicks the transcript button, the app should use an AI transcription engine to convert uploaded audio into transcription text with timestamps. Display the transcript in a clean, editable format. Allow users to export the full transcript in TXT, PDF, and DOCX formats. Replit is now asking for the OpenAI API key to connect transcription. I'll click the link it provides, which takes me to the API keys page. Then I'll click Create New Secret Key. Fill in the details and click Create Secret Key. After that, I'll copy the key, paste it back into Replit, and hit Continue. Now that the key is in place, I'm going to upload the audio file again. Click Create Project and then click the Transcript button. This time, it works perfectly. The app processes the audio and generates a full transcript with accurate timestamps placed next to each section of text. The transcript loads into a clean editor where I can make changes directly. And at the top, there are clear export options. I can download the transcript in text, PDF, or DOCX format with just one click. Alright, transcriptions are a great starting point, but they're not the end goal. What really saves time is when the app can turn that same audio into usable content for blogs, social posts, newsletters, and everything in between. That's what makes this tool feel like magic. I'll add this next instruction in Replit to activate that feature. Uh, when a user clicks on a content button, generate the following from each audio file. Summaries, long and short versions, show notes formatted for podcast descriptions, uh, timestamps or chapter quotes, uh, highlightable sound bites, uh, blog posts based on the content, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram captions, email newsletter draft. Each output should be editable before export. I'll try to upload another audio file, click Create Project, and then hit the Transcript button. That part still works perfectly. Now I'll click the Content button. A new Generate AI Content button pops up, so I'll click that. And now the full content suite is generated just like we asked. There are short and long summaries, formatted show notes, cleanly formatted chapters with timestamps, highlightable quotes, 
blog post drafts, captions for multiple social platforms, and even an email newsletter draft. Each of these sections appears inside an editor, where I can tweak the content or copy as is. I can also download each piece separately, which makes the workflow super efficient whether I'm editing or just exporting and posting. Sometimes the built-in content options aren't enough, especially when you've got a specific idea in mind. I'm thinking of adding custom prompts as well, so that instead of sticking to fixed outputs, we want users to be able to ask for exactly what they need directly from the transcript. Replit needs a specific input here, so I'm gonna enter this. In the sales AI-generated content, add a section where users can enter their own AI prompts to generate custom content based on the transcript. Example prompt, now give me 5 questions from this episode for a quiz. After entering that, there's now a new custom tab in the content area. I'll go ahead and type in the same example. Now give me 5 questions from this episode for a quiz. Then I'll click the Generate Custom Content button. The app processes the prompt and generates a tailored response instantly, pulled directly from the transcript. It works perfectly, giving users more control over the kind of content they want to extract from each audio file. We're almost done building the app, and right now, we're just making sure the core experience is reliable enough. As you can see here, every uploaded audio project in the project dashboard automatically displays the correct title, duration, and upload date as soon as the file is processed. Everything updates in real time, making it easy to scan through your uploads and jump back into any project when needed. After generating all that content, exporting it shouldn't feel like an extra chore. The tools here need to make saving, copying, or sharing your work as fast and seamless as the content process itself. I'll prompt Replit with the following to get that feature running. In the export button, enable one-click export of any generated content in formats like TXT, PDF, DOCX, or Copy to Clipboard. Allow users to generate shareable public links for transcripts or content blocks. Now, if I click the export button here, I can easily choose the specific content I want to download. After making a selection, I will head to the export files section where I can grab the file instantly in TXT, PDF, or docx format. There's also a quick option to copy the content straight to the clipboard with one click. And if I want to share something directly, the app lets me generate a public link for any transcript or content block. No extra steps needed. We're getting close to the finish line, and this part matters a lot. Pricing. If someone's ready to upgrade, the flow should be straightforward, and the app needs to clearly reflect when that upgrade kicks in. No one wants to wonder if their payment went through, or if they actually unlock the features. To make all of that happen, I'm going to type this into Replit. Offer a free plan with limited audio duration per month, paid plans with more hours and advanced features. Use Stripe Checkout for subscription billing. After successful payment, the project dashboard should display a premium badge a logo showing that the user can now use all app features. Right now, I'm on the free plan, and you can already see the audio limit. I'll click the Upgrade button, and sure enough, it brings up the pricing options for Pro and Premium. I'll hit Subscribe, and the app redirects me to the Stripe Checkout page. Everything looks smooth so far. I will try to enter my payment details and complete the subscription. But here's the problem. After paying, there's nothing on the dashboard that tells me my plan changed. No badge, no updated limits, nothing. So it looks like the upgrade went through, but it doesn't actually feel like it. To fix that, I'll head back into Replit and type. I tested the subscription flow, but after a successful subscription, show a clear indicator of the active plan, pro or premium on the project dashboard. This should include a visible badge or label next to the user's name and update any plan-specific limits or features accordingly. And there you go, the Upgrade to Pro button is back in the dashboard. I'll try to click in again, choose a plan, and go through the Stripe flow one more time. This time, right after the payment, the dashboard updates instantly. There's a Pro badge right next to my name, and all the premium features and limits are unlocked automatically. Everything's now in place. Audio Magic AI is a complete app that turns long-form audio into ready-to-use content with just a few clicks. From uploading and transcribing to generating blog posts, 
captions and even newsletter drafts. Everything works together seamlessly. Plus, with AI-powered prompts and shareable exports, this isn't just a tool. It's a content engine built for speed. If this walkthrough gave you ideas for your own app, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what feature you'd add next or which niche you're planning to build for. And if you want more AI-powered build tutorials like this one, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. There's plenty more in the way. See you in the next one.